Hi guys, welcome to PNC 20th lecture. Okay. So let's discuss a few cases here, few typical cases of uh, kind of D2D similarity. Okay. Or so D2D distribution. Okay. So in D2D distribution, right, what we'll kind of discuss is let's say if we have so if we want to distribute it's like five letters to three post boxes okay here all are distinct right three distinct letter i should write here three distinct letters sorry five distinct letters oh, obviously post boxes are distinct only to so three post boxes right so how many we can uh, in how many ways we can do it so we have explained earlier also we studied, studied this concept no so one letter can be posted in three ways second letter also in three ways third letter also in three ways like that it goes to three raised to five so don't make this confusion here it is always not five raised to three some people write it's five raised to three it's wrong right letters are posted into post boxes post boxes are not posted into letters right so it's like letters to post boxes so one letter in three ways second letter in three ways always break this data in your mind okay so total three is to five ways fine yeah now what we're trying to solve here is such kind of cases where we'll have a few different conditions given in this right so like we have three is to five cases here that's fine okay but now if i move this question to in uh, if i move this question to from distinct to similar right distinct to similar distribution we have studied earlier right we have solved cases also for this let's say i give you five distinct balls to three similar boxes okay so what we can do here is i can just assume all this uh, three right i can assume all this three uh, Basically, see, basically similar means identical, right? So what I can do here is I can assume these three similar boxes at different for timing, right? So how to solve such cases? Different to similar. One more way I'm giving you method one. We have already dis discussed earlier in the previous videos. Okay, we have discussed this earlier by making cases and all. Okay, same question we discussed. I think I, I got answers for forty one also, right? Now let's see here method two. So method two will focus on, okay. So look at the next slide here. So it should be like five distinct balls to three similar boxes. Okay, how many ways? So what I'll assume, what I assume here is assume that assume that all three boxes are distinct. Assume that all three boxes are distinct, right? So what will happen in this case now? If all three boxes are distinct, how many cases you can form? Let's say the cases can be now. Let's say this B B B. Let's say for timing B one, B two, B three. I'm assuming all boxes should be distinct. How many cases now? Five zero zero. Okay. Then four one zero. Then three two zero. Then three one one. Then Two two one. These many cases I can form, right? Now what will happen here? Since uh, our balls are, we have five distinct balls here, right? So let's say my ball is uh, five. Five distinct balls are. Let's say P Q R S T is written on those five balls. So what will happen now? How many cases for first one? So out of five balls, I select all the five balls. That is five C five. Ah, that is only one way, and then. This is uh sorry five C five that is only one way and then since the boxes are distinct right so I have to like this five zero zero how many distributions for it factorial three by factorial two right because zero zero repeating so how many cases for it three cases fine okay if we have four one zero right four one zero how many cases for it so out of five distinct balls I'll select any four balls five C four okay now we have two groups of four and one. And this distribution can be uh, done in how many ways? Four one zero in three boxes in three factorial ways. That becomes five into six. That becomes thirty. Okay, fine. Now three two zero again same thing. Out of five balls, select any three balls. 
So as I select any three balls now, I am just left with two balls now, right? So that is five C three to two C two, right? So that we don't need to write that. Okay. So we have three two zero distribution, and this can be done in three factorial ways, right? So this is ten uh, into six sixty. Okay, fine. Then we come to three one one, right? If we come to three one one here, now what I think here is, see, we have actually five uh, five C three ways. Okay. So we can write this as either you can simply write at five C three. I have discussed earlier, right? Simply write five C because the groups are the groups are one and one. After select three balls out of five distinct balls, you are left with two balls, right? That is one and one. So with you can't just differentiate between these two groups actually one and one. That's it, right? So you just leave it to five C three. Or what you can do you, after that out of two balls you select any ball, one ball in two C one ways and divide by factorial two because these two are repeating. So both are same thing here, right? No difference to it. So if I divide by two C, if I multiply by two C one, then divide by two factorial, same thing, right? And then those distribution here, okay? So now see, and it's and and understand the distribution here, right? This three one one, right? Now you what you do, you don't, uh, you simply write three factorial, okay? You don't multiply, uh, you don't divide by these two factorial, don't do it because see these three one one or at what or what? This represent three different balls. Let's say my balls are. Let's say my balls are. This three are P, Q, R. This one is S. This one is T. So these three are distinct, right? When we shuffle it, it is like three factorial. These are not same actually, right? So that for this one one distribution, I have all already divided by two factorial. So don't again divide by two factorial. Don't make that mistake. Three distinct things to three distinct boxes. What are three distinct distinct things here? P, Q, R, S, and T. To three distinct boxes, that is three factorial, right? That becomes how much? That becomes sixty uh, again, right? That becomes sixty again, okay. And then two two one, okay. What is this two two one case now? So already we have discussed it earlier also, okay? Because two two is repeating here. It's like five C two out of five balls left in two balls. Now out of three balls left, select again any two balls. Five C two into three C two. But two two being repeated here, right? So it's like dividing by two. So this two we have to divide for distribution, right? In uh, this uh, D two D two S distributions, I've shown why in two two we divide by two. I've done this question, right? And then what we write here? So again it's right like into two, okay? So until now again three factorial. That again becomes what? That becomes here again sixty. So sixty again, okay? Fine. Sixty. Uh, I'm sorry, ninety. Ninety. It is ninety. Okay. So what you see here, right? Very important concept I'm discussing here. If I add these all the values, thirty-three, ninety-three, one fifty-three, and ninety-two forty-three. So if I add up all the values, the sum I'm getting is two forty-three. Okay. Sum I'm getting is two hundred and forty-three. That is what. That is. That is simply nothing but if I assume all the boxes to be distinct, right? That is what. That is three raised to five. That is two forty-three ways. Right, five distinct balls to three similar boxes. If I assume all boxes to be distinct, five distinct balls to three distinct boxes. One ball can be put in three ways. Second ball also in three ways. Third also in three total. Three raised to five. That is two forty three. That is what two forty three here. But now what I need to understand here is what I need, what I need to have this change here in this. The change I can do is now because all the boxes are similar, because all the boxes are similar or identical. Right, I should not have divide multiplied it by three factorial, three factorial like that, right? Because if all the boxes are identical, again you have discussed this case. I hope you have watched that video, D two S video. So if all the boxes are identical, that means five zero zero is only one case. These are not three cases. It is only one case, right? Four one zero is only five C four. It is not three factorial, right? Only five C four, right? That means what I am doing here. This three two zero is only five c three. It's not three factorial because when once the boxes are identical, in one box I put three balls, in one box I put two balls, in one one box I put zero balls. Right? I close the boxes. All are identical. We don't we don't differ. We can't differentiate which box has got three, which box has two. Right? That is what the meaning of identical or similar boxes. So if we can't distribute there, can't differentiate there, that means we should not arrange it. So basically, it's it's it's, it's what it's basically finding. It's basically finding unordered solution. It's basically finding unordered solution of three raised to five. That's it. 
So how to find it now? So what we'll do here? Three raised to five, total two forty three. So I can see that every time I have multiplied here, I can see that every time I have multiplied here by three factorial, right? Three factorial six times six times, right? Again here also three factorial. It is also six times here. Okay. So here also it is six times. Here also it is six times. But here it is three times, right? Here it is because by three, no. So just for symmetry, remove these three cases. So three raised to five minus three. So if I remove these three cases now, so now I'm left with each case is being repeated six times. So now divide by six, right? And now add back this one case of add back this one case of five zero zero. So add this one case. So see in that video, we got answer as what forty one only in D two S video. I think it is PNC uh, uh, what sixteen or seventeen kind of just see which check one sir. So uh, this is forty one is the answer, right? So this is also we can do such question, right? So just understand the formula. We don't need to make cases for this, right? Now so I am generalizing it now, right? So it's like if we if we have distribution from different to similar, right? So method one was method one was making cases, okay? Method two is assuming assuming all distinct. Sorry, all similar. Assuming all similar to be distinct. If I assume all similar to be distinct, in that case, what will happen? If I assume all similar to be distinct, what will happen? So it's like for time being, getting d to d d to d solutions. And then finding unordered for it, right? And finding unordered. Okay, so this is a bit funda. If it is D to S, so method two says that convert to D to D, and then find the unordered solution. You'll get the answer, right? So for now, again, if you look back that at this question, total three distinct balls. Sorry, five distinct balls to three identical boxes. Assume boxes to be uh, distinct. That means three raised to five. Out of that. Remove that three cases. What is three cases? This three is for that five zero zero, right? That is that is A A B kind of case. Remove that A A B kind of case. Divide by six and add that A B case. It is the answer. Answer is what forty one is the answer for this question, right? I hope it is clear. Okay. So the next question would be eight distinct balls, eight distinct balls, two. Three similar boxes to three similar boxes, right? What is that answer now? So what you can simply do here is, so method one is by making cases, right? Method two is if it is D to S distribution in this case, distinct to similar distribution, convert it to D to D D to D distribution. And then find the unordered solution for it. This is the way, right? This is how we solve method two. We we'll solve method two now. So see here, what we'll do here. If we assume distinct to to, to distinct, we have total how much? Eight distinct balls to three similar boxes. How many ways? Three raised to eight or eight raised to three, right? Balls to boxes. So one ball can be placed in three ways. Second ball also in three ways. Third ball also in three. Fourth also in three. Like that. Three raised to eight. So total we have three raised to eight cases. Sorry, three raised to eight cases. If total different to different, now I have to convert this to unordered. So remove that one case. Remove that one case of what? That one case of eight zero zero, right? So one case of eight zero zero will have three ordered cases. So minus three. Now divide by three factorial. That is divide by six, and then add that one case. Add that one case. Right, so we can solve it. I think what is the answer here? Three raised to five, two forty three, seven twenty nine into nine six five six one by three. I think it should be ten ninety four. If I don't make any calculation mistake here, ten ninety four should be the answer. Okay. So I hope it is clear. Right. So all you can do is to do such kind of questions. Okay. Just remove the cases and just solve it. Okay. Fine. Okay. Let's move to one more variety here. We can put one more variety like. Five distinct 
chocolates to three children such that each gets yeah, each get at least one okay so what is this funda here this is d to d distribution right distinct chocolates to distinct ch uh, children are always distinct okay so what we can do here again again we have two methods for it right method one let's make cases here ha huh, i'll solve both the method i'll show for both the method methods here let's make cases here right what is the cases case one is if there are three children and five distinct chocolates so one case is what it should be 3 1 1 and one case should be what 2 2 and 1 okay so distribution to three children be like 3 1 1 and then 2 1 1 let the three children be a b and c okay so 3 1 1 and 2 2 1 so first selection and then arrangement right first selection out of five chocolates i need to select any three chocolate that can be done in five c three ways okay now you have only two chocolates to make two groups of one one either you can leave it or you can do 2c1 by 2 factor it's your wish right that is 5c3 now selection is done so now arrangement so these three are these three are distinct things here right don't divide by 2 okay these three are distinct things right? like five distinct chocolates no let's say dairy milk five star and uh, melody this three i've got with a let's say he has got some cadbury right and let's say he has got uh, some james with him so all these are what this is what this is different So I want what I want shuffling of these three things to three person. That should be directly into three factorial. So five C three is ten. Ten into six should be sixty, right? Don't divide by two. Again, I am saying again and again. Don't divide by again two factorial. Don't do it here, right? That's a major mistake. Okay. So it has explained. So don't divide by two. Now again two two one, right? If it is two two one, out of five, out of uh, five chocolates. I'll select two chocolates in five C two ways. Again, out of rest three, I'll select any two chocolates in three C two ways. I divide by two. Divide by two for that identical cases. I've shown in that D two S video. I think PNC sixteen or seventeen, right? Or uh, how to make this part, right? Uh, how to why this is similar? I have made cases for it and shown you. So whenever we have anything repeating apart from one, one you don't have to divide by two. If it is anything apart from one is repeating again, divide by two. For two cases, divide by two. Into that again, these three again what? These three are distinct things here. Like chocolates are like James, Cadbury and Dairy Milk, like five star and anyone, right? So let's say these are five chocolates here. They distribute in three factorial again. This is what ten into three thirty by two fifteen into six is ninety. What is the answer? Sixty plus ninety. Answer would be how much? One fifty. So one fifty is the answer for this question by method one. Let's come to method two. If I come to method two here, I'll I'll follow that uh, that three is to five funda right? That different different to different we know na. Okay. So if I solve by method two here, now what I'll do here is method two. So what is method two? now let's say without any condition without any condition okay what i can do is five distinct chocolates to three children can be given in three raise to five ways right so five distinct chocolates can be given to three persons in three raise to five ways right in this i need to subtract those cases right when because Three raised to five will also consist of the cases when out of let's say three children here are A, B, and C. So total five chocolates can be given to them in three raised to five ways. But is it total ways? No, right? In which in this case, uh, in this three raised to five, in some cases A would have received zero, B would have received zero, A and B would have received zero, right? So like those cases I need to eliminate. Okay. So let's eliminate those cases. So out of three raised to five cases, since all needs at least one. So subtract those cases when exactly one child gets zero chocolate. When exactly one child gets zero chocolates, okay. And when exactly two child, when exactly two child gets zero chocolate, right? 
and to subtract these cases actually, right? So see, this case is very easy. This case is very easy because exactly two two child uh, two exactly two child getting zero chocolate means what? So exactly two child getting zero ch chocolates means what? Out of three child A, B, and C, two child getting zero. That means all the five chocolates are taken by C. In other case, in other case when A, B, C are three child. In other case when B and C are getting zero. So all the five chocolates taken by A like that, right? So we have three cases for that. Exactly two child gets zero means one time C gets all the five chocolates, one time B gets all the five chocolates, and one time A gets all the five chocolates, right? So total three cases for it. Total three cases. Now this part I need to calculate a bit carefully, right? So now just concentrate on this part, right? Don't mix these two cases here, right? Don't mix it. Ah, uh, just concentrate on this part. Exactly one child gets zero chocolate. That means that means exactly one child gets zero chocolate means I want my chocolates. Okay, I want my five chocolates. I want my five chocolates to be given to two child. Right, because exactly one child getting zero, and I want exact five chocolates to give into give to be given to two child, right? And exactly one is getting zero. That means here both should have at least one. Both should have at least one. This is the case I am considering here, right? So I have to distribute five chocolates to two child such that both should have at least one because I am taking exactly one zero. Exactly two zero already I wrote my answer is three here. Right, so exactly one zero means five chocolates should be good given to two child, ah, and so that nobody gets zero in that because out of three, out of three children, only one should get zero. That means both children should have at least one. Right, so how many cases for it? So it's very simple, right? Because if we have five chocolates, let's say five chocolates are C one, C two, C three, C four, and C five. These are my five chocolates, and my three children are A, B, C. Right. So what do you want? Those cases is, sorry, my two two children. My two children are A and B. So what do you want? Is those cases two two chocolates can be given to five children. Sorry, five chocolates can be given to two children in total two raised to five ways. Okay, so five chocolates can be given to two children in total two raised to five ways, right? But that is including zero. That is in, that is without any condition. That includes all the zero other cases also, right? So what do you need to do? Subtract those cases when all the five chocolates have gone to A, and subtract those cases when all the five children have the chocolates have gone to B. So out of two raised to five cases, subtract those two cases. So two raised to five minus two. Correct. So two raised to five minus two. Okay. So exactly one child gets zero means two raised to five minus two. Fine. And there are three such cases for it. One time for A B, one time for A C, and one time for B C. So three such cases for it. So into three. So this is the answer right. If you solve it, you will get three to five is what two forty three minus. Okay, two forty three to five is two forty three minus. This is uh thirteen to three ninety plus three ninety three. So answer is one fifty. Answer is one fifty. Right. That I got in previous case. So this is the formula behind it, right? So out of total two, when when I want that exactly out of three children, exactly one should get zero. That means rest both of the children should have at least one. So two cho five chocolates I need to distribute to two child such that each gets at least one, right? So total two raised to five cases. In that subtract those two cases when A gets all five. That means B is zero. And when get when B gets all five, that means A is zero. So thirty cases, right? Thirty into three, ninety. This is the answer, right? Same funda we'll use in when I'm solving this onto function. Okay, in functions video when I'm solving that onto functions, number of onto functions from A to B. Same funda I'll use there, right? You can again revise it there. Okay. Thank you for watching.